How are you doing, nuevos amigos? I'm doing great. I'm Senorita Garcia. Today we're going to learn how to say mother, father, brother, sister, and more family member names in Spanish. But before we get started, can anyone tell me what we need to do? Did you say the nuevos amigos cheer? You're right. N-U-E-B-O-S A-M-I-G-O-S Nuevos amigos, nuevos amigos Ra, ra, ra N-U-E-B-O-S A-M-I-G-O-S Nuevos amigos, nuevos amigos Ra, ra, ra That was great! What a wonderful job! Hola, Zach. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y usted? Muy bien, gracias, Zach. Do you know what we need to do next? I think it's time we learned our verb for the day. Where's our verb book? I have it right here. Let's see who's out there today. Hello. Hola. Look, Zach. It's Diego! The verb for today is amar. Amar. Amar is to love. Can you repeat that after me, nuevos amigos? Amar. Now I'm going to use it in a sentence. Me gusta amar a mamá y a papá. I like to love mother and father. That's the verb for the day. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Diego. Adios, Diego. Now that we've learned the verb for today, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I sure am. It's time for the Nuevos Amigos theme song using our verb amar, which means to love. Juanita? I'm looking at a photo album of my family. Want to see? Oh, see, sí, claro que see. Sí. Sure, I would. You know, Juanita, I love to see pictures of family members. This is a picture of my mother. And do you know how to say mother in Spanish, Juanita? That is mama. Repeat after me, mama. Mamá. Ah, muy bien. Who is this, Juanita? ¿Quién es? Here is a picture of my father. Oh, and father in Spanish is papá. Repeat after me. Papá. Papá. And Juanita, ¿Quién es? This is a picture of my brother and sister. How would you say that, Señorita Garcia? For brother, you would say hermano. And hermana for sister. Repeat after me. Hermano. Hermano. And sister is hermana. Repeat after me. Hermana. Hermana. Oh, Juanita, I love your pictures. 
goodness, son. This is a picture of my aunt, uncle, along with all my cousins. Can you help me say that in Spanish, Señorita Garcia? Sí, como no, Juanita. To say aunt, you would say tía. Repeat after me. Tía. Tía. And uncle is almost like tía. It's tío. With an O. Tío. Repeat after me. Tío. Tío. <laughs> when you're talking about your cousins, you would say Primos. Primos. ¿Quiénes son? Here is a picture of my grandparents, my grandmother and my grandfather. And to say grandmother in Spanish, you would say abuela. Say it with me, Juanita. Abuela. And grandfather is abuelo. Repeat after me. Abuelo. Abuelo. Now, when you want to add affection to the word abuela, you add I-T-A at the end to make it abuelita. Say it with me. Abuelita. And to add affection to the word abuelo, you add I-T-O at the end and that makes it abuelito. Say it with me. Abuelito. Did you know that I sometimes take my abuelita some flowers when she isn't feeling well. That's really nice of you, Juanita. Qué amable eres. Gracias, señorita Garcia. You have such a nice photo album. ¿Quién es, Juanita? Es mi amigo, Zach. This is my friend, Zach. Oh, yes. I see him now. He's working on the computer. Thank you for sharing your photo album with me. <laughs> dale, 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 no pierdes el tino, mide la distancia que hay en el camino. It landed on the city of Metepec, Mexico. This city is known for creating a clay sculpture covered with flowers, leaves, biblical figures, and candle holders that is called an Arbol de Vida, Tree of Life. Here are some examples of El Arbol de Vida. Some people think Arbol de Vida represents the beliefs and designs of the Aztecs and the teachings of the Franciscan monks. Today, the trees haven't changed from their original design and have become one of the best known art objects in Mexican folk art. Don't forget, learning about other cultures helps you to better understand the world we live in. I'm going to tell you some of the names of my family members and you can also tell me some of the name of your family members. Okay, Juanita, you go first. Mi mamá se llama Rosita. My mother's name is Rosita. Mi mamá se llama Sofía. My mother's name is Sofía. Mi papá se llama Pedro. My father's name is Pedro. Mi papá se llama Tomás. My father's name is Thomas. Mi tío se llama Felipe. My uncle's name is Felipe. Mi tío se llama Miguel. My uncle's name is Michael. Mi tía se llama Helen. My aunt's name is Helen. Mi tía se llama Mary. My aunt's name is Mary. My mama's done, Zach. Okay. Mi abuelo se llama Tino. My grandfather's name is Tino. Mi abuelo se llama Roberto. My grandfather's name is Robert. Mi abuelita se llama Atanasia. My grandmother's name is Atanasia. Mi abuelita se llama Dolores. My grandmother's name is Dolores. That was so much fun, wasn't it, Zach? It sure was, Juanita. 
You can also try this with your friends. Hmm? My mom's name is Maria Rosaura. There you go. And my father's name is Jose Amador. Oh, no, amigos. I was just filling out my family tree. Let me show you. See, it looks like a tree. I'm right here. Soy yo, that's me. And my first name is Maria because my mother's first name is Maria. So my name is Maria Rebeca. And then my brother's name is Jose Amador, just like my father. Then my other relatives are my grandparents. And here are my father's parents. Abuelo y Abuela, and my mother's parents, Abuelo y Abuela, they're my grandparents. So, this way you can write all your family's names and know who is an uncle, aunt, and so on. This is a good idea for you to work at home with your brothers or sisters or your parents. Who knows, you may discover a long lost cousin. After filling out your family tree and writing your family's names, you can make an árbol de vida to represent your family. Here is what you need. Two 9-inch paper plates, ruler, scissors, one 8.5 by 11-inch sheet of white paper, that is drawing paper, glue, markers, construction paper, pattern ornaments like stickers, and drawings of family members or photographs. You will cut out the inside of the circle. Fold it, and here we have our paper plate. And what I have done is cut out the inside of the circle, and then what I'm going to do is fold it into eight equal parts. And here we have it. In half, fourths, and eighths. Then you trace the lines with your ruler. So you use your ruler and you're going to trace your lines with the marker. Just like I did right here. So you trace them all. Now what you're going to do is cut one inch along the center of the lines just like I did right here. This will be the base of the tree. You see? On the second paper plate you will only cut out the center. Because what I did is when I cut out that other circle, I actually cut it in half. So this is the second paper plate. And you form a ring. Now, with your drawing paper, what you're going to do is you're actually going to roll it. And you start this way. And you roll it. And this will be the base of your árbol de vida. And you keep rolling it, rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. And then you can secure it with glue or with scotch tape. And that's what I'm going to use here. There we go. Securing it with scotch tape. All right. You can decorate your base, ring, and tube with markers or construction paper. Now here is my family, all right? And I've decorated it with construction paper, um, I, and I've drawn them, but you may use your photographs. Now here's the base, and then I put my tube through the center of the base, and then I'm going to secure this with, you can use glue or scotch tape. Let's review the steps. Step one, get all your materials together. Step two, draw lines dividing one paper plate into eight equal parts, or you may fold it into eight parts. Fold it three times, just like I showed you. Step three, cut along lines, just one inch, that's your base. Step four, cut out the center to form a ring on the second plate. Step five, roll drawing paper into a tube 
and secure with glue or transparent tape or scotch tape. Step six, decorate base, ring, and tube with markers. Step seven, paste figures onto tube. Step eight, paste ring onto tube. Step nine, draw tube through opening in center of base and secure with glue. Remember, you can also use transparent tape or scotch tape. Great job! Now you can display your own creation of the Arbol de Vida. It's time to play the matching game. Let's figure out together Little Red Riding Hood's family members. La familia de Caperucita Roja. Is this Little Red Riding Hood's mom or dad? La mamá o el papá? You are right, nuevos amigos. Es la mamá de Caperucita Roja. It is Little Red Riding Hood's mother. Very good, amigos. Muy bien. ¿Quién es? Who is this? Caperucita's primo o abuelito. Cousin or grandfather. Did you say abuelito? You're right again. Es el abuelito de Caperucita Roja. It is Little Red Riding Hood's grandfather. Let's do one more. ¿Quién es? Who is this? ¿Quién es? El hermano o la hermana de Caperucita Roja. Hermano? Good job! Buen trabajo! Es el hermano de Caperucita Roja. It is Little Red Riding Hood's brother. Excellent job! Do you remember what we've learned today? We learned how to say mamá, papá, hermano, hermana, tío, tía, primo, prima, abuelo, and abuela. We also learn how to say quién es. Who is this? And you answer by saying, es mi, and then fill in the blank with a family member name. The verb for the day was amar. And the sentence for the day was, me gusta amar a mamá y a papá. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Nuevos Amigos. But remember, when we learn a new language, we also make new friends. Adios!